Hello and welcome to Bounding Into Comics. My name is John Trent. I'm the founder and editor-in-chief of Bounding Into Comics. Today I got a story about Black Widow crashing at the box office. It got smoked by LeBron James's weak Space Jam movie. Before we get to that, I'd like to ask if you could please hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed already. If you are already subscribed, please make sure you are still subscribed. YouTube does like to unsubscribe you for whatever reason. And then hopefully by the end of this video, I will have earned your like and that you will give us a like and that you will share this with your friends and family as well. And then hopefully you will also hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future Bounding in the Comics videos. With that out of the way, let's get to the story. As I said, Marvel Studios' Black Widow film saw its gross take at the box office crash in its second weekend, even getting beat by LeBron James' weak Space Jam movie. According to the numbers, Black Widow only brought in $26.2 in its second domestic weekend, getting beat by Space Jam, A New Legacy, which earned $31.6 in its opening weekend. Black Widow previously earned $80.366 million in its, opening, in its domestic opening weekend, meaning the gross declined by an astounding 67% huge number right there. To put that in perspective, the most recent Marvel Cinematic Universe entry before Black Widow was Spider-Man Far From Home. The film only had a 51% decline from its opening weekend and its second weekend. It earned $92.5 million in its opening and $45.3 million in its second weekend. However, that might not be the greatest comparison given Spider-Man Far From Home had a unique opening strategy back in 2019 where it released on Tuesday, July 2nd to take advantage of the long Independence Day weekend in the United States. Before Spider-Man Far From Home, there was Avengers Endgame. It earned $357.1 million in its opening weekend and $147.38 million in, in its second weekend, only a 59% drop. Even Captain Marvel had less of a drop off than Black Widow. Captain Marvel earned $153.4 million in its opening weekend and it fell to $67.98 million in week two, only a 56% decline. In fact, Black Widow now holds the title for the largest percentage decline in box office gross between opening weekend and a film's second weekend in Marvel Cinematic Universe history. That record was previously held by both Spider-Man Homecoming and Ant-Man and the Wasp, with both films having 62% declines from their opening weekends to their second weekend. Spider-Man Homecoming earned $117 million in its opening weekend and only $44.2 million in its second weekend. Ant-Man and the Wasp earn, earned $75.8 million in its opening weekend and only $29 million in its second weekend. On the international side, according to Screen Daily, Black Widow earned $56 million in its second weekend. It previously earned $76 million in its opening weekend, bringing its international total to $132 million. Much of the gross has come from South Korea, the United Kingdom, and France. The film has not opened in China yet, and there's no word on whether it will. Not only is Black Widow performing terribly compared to previous Marvel Cinematic Universe films at the box office, but it missed box office analyst pro projections by a long shot. The numbers predicted that the film would defeat Space Jam and New Legacy at the box office by earning $36.4 million. It underperformed by over $10 million. However, Box Office Pro did predict it would earn $25.9 million, so it slightly overperformed their projections with $26.2 million. As for Space Jam and New Legacy, while it did earn the number one spot at the box office with $31.6 million, it failed to best the original Space Jam's 1996 opening weekend box office haul. The original Space Jam opened with $27.5 million. However, if you adjust for inflation, that's $47.6 million in today's dollars. That's a $16 million difference. That's huge. Space Jam A New Legacy did beat the numbers box office projections who had it at $19.6 million and it barely edged out box office pros projections which was at $26.4 million. I do have to state that while Black Widow's second weekend is the worst in Marvel Cinematic Universe history, the decline from the opening weekend to the second weekend is the worst in Marvel Cinematic Universe history, the film was available on Disney Plus Premier Access and Disney did state that in that first weekend they brought in $60 million dollars from their Disney Plus Premier Access, meaning that at least two million households or around there, roughly around there, probably a little bit less, paid the $30 to watch Black Widow on Disney Plus. It's unclear how many people did that in the second weekend though. Let me know what you think about these numbers and how poorly Black Widow and both Space Jam A New Legacy did. My name is John Trent and you've been watching Bounding Into Comics.